making firewood getting some end of the season carrots Let's see what we have here on some of these big boys this one looks like it'll be a good one I like carrots, I like little Christmas presents look at that one hey good morning YouTube Merry Christmas to you, it's Christmas Eve had a couple hours this was my Christmas gift to myself getting some time to do some welding so I got back on the sawmill project here and I got all smartified and figured I'd use some tube of furs and some carpenter clamps and a rafter square. They all seem to translate well to metal work. Make everything level, square, and flat. The driveway's, oh, I had to tie my shoe there. The driveway's pretty flat, so that wasn't an issue. And having the tube of furs cut and, and clamped, and, and that way things ain't going to move. I'm welding them to some angle iron. That's the bottom half there. And you see I'm getting pretty good penetration. You see how red it's getting. So I was really happy with how this 035 inner shield was working. Work, 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 work. Now I've got to duplicate it. First one's done. So what I do, I lay the second one on top of the first one. It's very sweet. Look at that. Clamped all together so nothing moves. Do all the finish welds all the way around. Pretty sweet. So uh, took a quick lunch break after this. And... I changed camera angles. Look at that. So this is the uh, the horizontal bars there. Look, I'm using that rafter square again. We'll travel up and down. This is where the power plant's going to mount to, the differential, the cutting wheels. Picture a huge horizontal bandsaw moving up and down and down and up. And uh, that's what we got here. Inch and a half by inch and a half, eighth mild steel angle iron. Grind, 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 grind. Lots of welding. But uh, it should be pretty stout when all said and done. Measure, measure. Make sure everything's level and square. I think that's important. Hell, I don't know. I work with wood all the time. Not metal. So I'm putting the third piece in. I used a total of four pieces to run on the horizontal part. To tap it in there nice and snug. Got everything fit pretty good. And then uh, here's what we're left with. This is how I end the day. You can see that I um, I haven't welded it down to the horizontal feet yet. That two by two horizontal pieces. I don't know where the center of gravity of this thing's going to be. So I'm going to get the power plant and all the wheels and everything mounted. And then once I figure out how tippy it is, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. Talk to you guys soon.